going somewhere? Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Heh, <laughs> you do. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality. But it serves its purpose. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Fop. His reach in Los Angeles far exceeds his grasp. Prince, don't make me laugh. Prince is a title, an outdated and absurd bit of jargon given to any fool that would scheme hard enough for it. I don't recognize it, and neither will any kindred under the protection of this barony. Is that right? And exactly what kind of business would that be? So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this?
Absolutely not. You pull that cowboy routine anywhere in my city and I'll personally take an interest in seeing you suffer. I had in mind something a bit more subtle. Now pay attention. Here's what I want you to do. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Yeah? What do you want? Yeah? Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, bitch! Alright. Sorry. It's just that... 
I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. I, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It, it can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me! Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end, and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the? Oh, Christ! <gasps> Made good time. Hand me the item. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? Ginger Swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. That depends. You believe in an afterlife? 
Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. 20 years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. I did, didn't I? Let me know when you find the item, Neonate. Excuse me.
You still don't have it, do you? I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. If you think you can find them without my assistance, the door is over there. Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Certainly. The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. Hey, you hot pants. Hey, hey, relax. Sounds like you're a little, uh, pent up. You came to the right place for that problem. The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the Sin Bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about?
Yeah? What do you want to know? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Really? You a cop? All right, listen. I'll tell you a little bit, but if anyone comes asking, you never heard it from me. They produce only the most hardcore video. I'm not even talking black market here, more like black hole market. Not the kind of product you want to get mixed up in. The kind of stuff that gets you put in jail for just talking about it, all right? Snuff Films is just the tip of the iceberg. I only seen one of their videos, and I swear I couldn't eat for a week. Real enough that every cop in five states has been trying to track these guys down. They are bad news, pal. You want some advice from me? Stop thinking whatever you're thinking and get your ass back to Kansas. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. Look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress or some creepy shit like that. And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now.